seconds. There we go, YouTube cut off. Hello all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster and welcome back to another live stream. It's been a while. I think it's been like at least a month since I've streamed on a weekend. Um, I switched my streaming schedule to twice a week, but now, you know what, I decided, you know what, every now and then on, like, a Sunday, probably, maybe occasionally a Saturday if I have to switch it around, um, I figured, you know what, I would, uh, oh, I gotta pull this thing up, I would, uh, you know, stream some kind of, like, one-off games on the weekends, I don't really, so I'm gonna try to, like, mainly stream games Tuesday and Thursday nights, and that's gonna be, like, a main core game that's gonna take multiple parts, whereas weekend nights are gonna be more, like, you know, let's let's do something extra. Let's do something fun. And this I've been meaning to do for like at least a month. And I apologize for that. Um, I want maybe I think it might have been like a month ago. Um, I had a poll on tw my uh, Twitter, twitter.com slash Mega Amster for any of you to if you're watching and you want to stay, keep watching. And uh, I would honestly highly recommend following me on Twitter if you have one, just because that's where I usually update for streams and everything like that. And I'll put, you know, occasional polls about like what kind of content I should be streaming. Um, and so this one was for another uh, Amiibo training. I already did one a couple months ago with the Samus Amiibo. And I put a poll out there, and I'm pretty sure it was a three-way tie between Mewtwo, Bowser, and Inkling, I want to say. Nobody voted for Villager. So sad. Makes sense, though, out of all four of those characters. Um, and I was like, crap, well, it's a tie. What do I do? So I hit up my friend Chase. I was like, Chase, who should I do? He was like, I gave him the three options. He was like, do Mewtwo. And I was like, okay, so we're doing Mewtwo. Um, I got the little Mewtwo Amiibo over here. Honestly, this is such a great Amiibo. I think I'd still don't please don't watch my old like pre 2016 or yeah 2016 ish videos don't watch any of this please um I still I think I still have the unboxing for this up on the channel from like 2015 like I think it was literally six years ago I unboxed this on the channel like I said don't watch it it's not one of those things it's not reverse psychology I swear just don't do it um but I really like this amiibo actually I really like it a lot and um it's one of the simpler ones, but honestly, the simpler ones look better. It does have that little uh, clear set. Why am I doing it? I'm not... This isn't an Amiibo review. This is an Amiibo training in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I previously trained up, like, almost all the Amiibo I had at the time to level 50 that could be trained um, in Smash Wii U. But uh, since then, I have cleared all the data and figured, you know, I'm going to go through this. would be something good to stream. I'm going to go ahead and uh, level up some of these Amiibo. So, you know, every once in a while, like I said, every every... Once in a blue moon, at most once a month, but even then I kind of doubt it. Um, that might be too often for me, but anyways, any audio or video issues, please do let me know. I appreciate it in the chat if you're watching live, that way others who are watching the VOD or even live and they're not saying anything, they can enjoy the experience too, because there are definitely issues sometimes. The capture card, I, Elgato was freaking out on me literally just a few minutes ago when I was setting this up. Um... I don't know why, just unplugging all the cords and plugging them back in, fixed it. Don't know what it was. I think it was one of the USB cables, to be honest, probably to the computer. That was screwing it up. But anyways, let's jump right into it. What we got to do first, though, is actually register the amiibo, which I think, yeah, there it is. Register this Mewtwo amiibo. I don't know if I have a name for it, though. Oh, yeah, okay, hold on. Hold on. There's a Joy-Con. What are you talking about? It's Joy-Con right here. I'll use the one that I have on my, uh... The one I used for the handheld mode, the green one. Just gotta touch it to the, uh... It's so... It's... It, like... Oh, yeah, that's my random me. That's not me. I should be able to... Why can I not set my me that I have registered with my... My Nintendo account as the me here? This is just some random dude. Um... Ooh, what should I name it? I guess I'll keep this Joy-Con detached so I can use it for later. Um... Good Mewtwo name. Hmm, what do I think I'm going to hear Mewtwo? I could come up with a really stupid name. I could definitely come up with many stupid names. Clever, not so much. Hmm. Yeah, screw it. I can't think of anything. I'm going to call it Mutu. I told you, I, I know I know some stupid names. I got some stupid names. We'll do a stupid name. It's Mutu. There we go. Beautiful. Now I got to register it again. Okay, that's fair. It's just, it's so funny to me that, like, they had that NFC reader in, the, like, the, the gamepad, right? I, I I have it right here. I could actually pull it up. The, uh, the NFC chip reader on the gamepad, right? Um, right there, the left part. Ooh. You can see it right there on the left side right there. That's the NFC reader. Um, this whole massive 
part of the gamepad, and then on the Joy-Con, you literally just put it on the thumbstick. Like, it still boggles my mind how they did that. Um, What's also interesting that I think about now is, like, did older models... If anybody knows, let me know in the chat. Uh, if anybody happens to know, did they have the NFC reader on older, like, maybe, like, launch models of the Wii U? Ooh, I like this color. The cyan and white. That's nice. I like that. Um... Mutu! Nope, I'm literally not gonna level you. I, I hate how to level them up. Um, what were the other options? Actually, I wanna check first. I hate how you have to feed them spirits in order to level them up. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna level them up to 50 in that top right corner, but like, in terms of like, inheriting powers from spirits, no, I'm not gonna do that. It is cool how you can send them on the internet, though. Um, okay. With that, maybe I just gotta register my me onto my Switch. Maybe it's not registered. It's on my online account, but not, um, maybe just not the base Switch. Okay, which one? That has items. I think the only one that doesn't have items is Jimbo's game. I can't remember if I did items with the Samus Amiibo or not. I think, I feel like I might have actually. I feel like I might have done items. Not that it matters. Yeah, why not? Let's do items. Why the hell not? I think this I think this is only like Pokeballs and assist trophies in terms of items though. Um Yeah, let's just do random. Gotta learn gotta teach the amiibo how to avoid all the all the sage hazards and like the weird terrain. Just constantly <laughs> constantly go to Wily Castle for the yellow devil thing. Um no, that is not the right name, but nice track. Um Oh, no, that's not what I meant. No, I don't want to be Jimbo. There we go, there's me. Um, I'm just gonna random, honestly. I got all the DLC characters, so that's that, but I just want to random. Whoa, okay. We good? We're good! In we go. Oh, I gotta pull up the list again. Every time I click out of it, it just goes away. Dr. Mario, oh, okay. You know, he's okay, he's not bad. The doctor's in! Get your booster! I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say the obligatory jingle all the way quote. I'm not gonna do it. Oh come on, come on! That that was a that was a KO right there. But yeah, it, there, it, it, he's gonna be pretty pathetic early on. Um, it's just about getting those quick like leveling up quickly to the point where it can actually be competent a little bit. Um, okay, well now it's at least dishing out attacks a little bit. That's good. I almost wonder, because there's got to be some kind of, like, algorithm. Ooh, there we go. I would not be able to pull that off normally against, like, a, an amiibo. But, um, there's got to be some kind of, um, I, well, I know part of the tech is in the amiibo itself. But there's got to be some, like, algorithm they use to program it to be able to, like, learn moves at a certain rate and everything. Um, and, I, I mean, I don't know if it increases, I don't think it would increase power necessarily with more levels, because that would just be, like, messing with the game mechanics itself. But in terms of, like, what moves it can actually, the, the FP, whatever, the, what is it, fighter player? Is that what it stands for? I don't even remember, to be honest. Um, it's gotta be some kind of algorithm that keeps track of, like, how fast it learns. So I almost wonder if, like, that back there is good. If, um, if it's been updated since, from Smash Wii U to Ultimate, you know, maybe it's a little more advanced here. I don't know. The Doctor is in. Cool. Dr. Mario's pretty solid. I like Dr. Mario. I'd still... I would take regular Mario over Dr. Mario, but, like... I I remember when Smash 4 days... Like, I know everybody was complaining about Dark Pit. I was complaining about Dr. Mario. And, like, this is coming from someone who... I have not played a ton of Melee. Melee is the game... The Smash Brothers game I played the least. Oh, we're getting all the Marios here. Okay. <laughs> now we got Purple Mario! Then we're gonna get Green Mario! Ooh, this is a good song, though. And on the Pokemon stage. This is very fitting, actually. Oh! Love Saffron City. Um, but Melee is the one I've played the least. And, like, I am sorry. Like, I don't... I know he was... From what I understand, Dr. Mario was brought back in Smash Wii U. Um, or Smash 4, I should say. I guess, I mean, all the, um... The Echo Fighters, before they were called Echoes, being, you know, Lucina, Dark Pit, and Dr. Mario in, in Smash 4... Um, they were kind of brought in just because they had a little bit of extra development time that they could be like, you know what, let's just throw these characters in. And I get that. 
I guess I understand that, but it's also like the only reason Dr. Mario came back for Smash 4 at all is because of like melee nostalgia. That's all it was. And like it was it would have been one thing if Dr. Mario came back in Smash Ultimate, this game, obviously making sense that like even like Pichu's coming back, everybody's coming back in this game, right? Um But Smash 4, it was just it felt really weird to have Dr. Mario back, I'm not gonna lie. Like Dr. Mario got back before Mewtwo, and I know, like I just said, like, literally it's because, uh, oh, Sage Hazards must be off. Okay, yeah, Sage Hazards are definitely off. Oh, wait, this is not the one with items. What am I doing? This isn't with items. This is without items and What am I doing? I gotta try, uh, a different one, then. Yeah, I know, let me try one of the other rule sets, because I kind of want some items. I'm trying to remember if it's... The brand one? I'm pretty sure it's Du Bois Club, but I'll have to say. Luigi! I'm usually not good with Luigi at all, so, like, I'm only doing okay because of the amiibo there. Because they're a little bit under level. But okay, yeah, let me... I want to switch the rule set, actually, because... I chose... Yeah, I chose Jimbo Scheme. That's the one... That's not the one with items. Sorry. I got that mixed up. Um, let me check the Boys Club and just make sure. Uh, Final Smash meter's on. Yeah, because... Here's, here's the thing, right? I like... Oh, they're... Why are they all on? That seems... Mm, that seems like a bit much. Whoa. Okay, no, I meant to edit that, sorry. Um, like, on one hand, I do like kind of just the competitive nature of... You know, the game was just turning off the items. Oh, I guess I did have all items on, huh? Okay. Let's still do it. Let's still, let's do it with all items. We can do it. We can be... could be a little crazy with it. Um, yeah, okay. There we go. I'll just choose a random stage. Stage hazards on. Final smash meter on. There we go. I, I like showing off the extra content because there's so much love and care put into everything, including the items, especially the assist trophies and the Pokemon. There's so much effort that goes into that. And so to not even have that enabled and even the final smash is on top of that. I'm not... Oh, you know what? I just realized, I think I have Smash Balls on as well. Which is kind of dumb. There's literally no point in Smash Ball when I have uh, Smash Meter on. I, I think I like Meter better than Smash Ball, to be honest. But, like, you know what I mean? There's so much effort that goes into a lot of the different items, too. And it's, like, um, and all the stages and the, the stage hazards and everything. So, it's, like, I kind of like to show that. Or not necessarily just even show it off, but just interact with it because it's like i feel like i'm missing out on part of the game on some of the content within the game if i don't you know what i mean if i don't even actually use it but like occasionally i will say there's definitely a place for oh sure okay just blew up in his face um there is definitely a place for the competitive side of things like no items um I i'm always gonna prefer stocks versus like time or i don't even know if i've ever tried co coin battle to be quite honest you know i don't know if i ever actually have oh <laughs> wow, okay, he got me there. Not that it did a lot of damage, but he did get me there. I'll give you that one, Mewtwo. I'll give you that one. Now we're starting to get a little bit more complicated here. It's the king! <laughs> I was just streaming, uh, I've, so I've been streaming, for those of you who haven't been watching, I've been streaming some, uh, the H Calamity DLC, uh, the second wave of DLC, and, um, actually just uploaded some, uh, stream highlights earlier today from that stream, and, uh, there's one map where you where you're playing as King Rome, and that was just that was very fun. You didn't even try to avoid that Mewtwo. What are you doing? I guess it's tough to avoid, but there we go. Level ten? Yeah, level ten. Okay. It looks like it's gonna be faster than it is, but I guarantee it's really not. It's gonna go. It's like it's gonna take a little while to do. Um, you know what I want to do though? Let me go back first for a second. Um, the items. Hold up. I wanna. Because here's the thing, right? Oh, I did turn them off. Okay, I was going to say, because it makes no sense to have them on. Okay. The question is, do I want all those other items on? Because I want at least the Pokeballs and the Assist Trophies. But even this might be too much. Ah, nah, we'll get chaotic with it. Let's do it. We'll keep it. We'll go with it. We'll go with the flow. There's always there's always room for chaotic stuff, you know. And like I said, I just like I like having like more of the content there. Like so much of the care put into this game, 
isn't just the characters, it's also the stages and all the hazards and all the items and everything, but sometimes you don't feel like it, and that's why there's an option. That's why there's all these toggles, which is great. It's amazing. Ah, oh, Wario. I really am getting all the brothers now, huh? Um, actually, is Wario even, like, brothers with Mario and Luigi? Have Has Nintendo mentioned that about them? Like, are they actually brothers, though? Because, like, that would be kind of fucked if they actually were. The Black Knight! Oh, you don't stand a chance. Also, this stage is garbage. Bye bye Although, I mean, I love how it looks. It's, this is a beautiful stage, but it's it's just it's such a terrible one to play on. Honestly, one of the worst from Smash 4. It's just because it's so big. But, you know, with two players, it's actually... Wow, okay. Once you get into the same area, it's not too bad. But literally... The stage literally could have just been this right here. That could have been it. Quick game offensive. This is it right here. And it's a Cheshire chest that spawns every now and then. Huh. Whoa! Wanna ride on my bike? Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. <laughs> clap his ass. Nope. Okay. Give him the slap, 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 clap, clap, clap. You know what I mean? Get over here, Mizu. Come on. Oh, you're done. Warrior Land Shoulder Bash. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I miss Warrior Land. I need a replay. I've only played Warrior Land 4. I own the original GBA cartridge for that. I remember I remember back when, like, I don't know. I don't even know if it was EB Games or GameStop. It was that long ago. I don't even remember. But they used to have, if anybody remembers this, let me know. They had, I think, it, I think GameStop still did it, where they had the display cases full of like the unpackaged Game Boy Advance games and the DS games as well. And I remember just loving to go over there and just look through the different games they had on display. It was so cool. Um, obviously they don't, I don't, at least I don't think they have that anymore. I don't think they do that for 3DS games, but I just remember looking through those. That's how I saw Warrior Land 4 and a bunch of other games. I, I think that's how I got Sonic Advance 2 way back in the day. That was the first game I ever bought with my own money, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Rosalina, we're getting so many Mario characters. Why, though? I'm on random. Better not be going in order of the roster, because I put it on random. I don't think there's a way to change how the random algorithm works in this character selection of this game. <laughs> it's pretty epic, as Rosalina's just absolutely mutilating Mewtwo. Oh, sorry, Mewtwo. That's why he's not as good. He's the imposter. He's looking a little sus right there with that, that Cyan. That's that's not Mewtwo. Woo! Who's it gonna be? Get me! Go, Isaac! If only you were a character. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know Isaac could just straight up knock you off. Oh my goodness! Eh, okay, I'm glad he's not in it, at least. Thank God Waluigi's not in this game. I am so sorry if someone's mad at me for that, but like, Waluigi, no. Like, it was literally a meme. Not in the same way that Minecraft Steve was a meme. Like, it was just like, never gonna happen. To be honest, like, I know there technically aren't, like, any rules of, you know, getting characters in the game. But like, I always, oh, that wasn't good. Why'd I do that? I always kind of consider the assist trophy thing kind of like an informal rule because, yeah, there weren't ever any cases of that happening where an assist trophy became a character. Um, I guess if it were to happen, it probably would have been Waluigi, to be honest, just because of the popularity. Or even Springman before uh, Min Min was revealed to be the armed character, you know? But I always kind of considered it to be kind of a little rule, and I was like, why... They're already represented in the game. Why make them a separate character? You know what I mean? And like, Waluigi just... I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Waluigi just like... I don't know. I mean, the main reason... I feel like they could make it work. They could combine... They could have combined like some of his moves from like... I don't know. They could have pulled from Mario Party, Mario Kart. They could have made his moveset essentially like all the Mario spin-off games. Which would have been awesome. I mean, I think Peach and Daisy already have the tennis racket from... Uh, like Mario Tennis. But they could have made, like, a full moveset around that. That would have been cool. I just didn't really... I, the main reason why I didn't want Waluigi in was because of the fans who fucking harassed Sakurai like crazy for not putting him in and for just being like, oh, you And literally, like, saying that he owed them that character. 
Hey, shout out to whoever just subscribed. Thank you so much. Um, you know what I mean? And it's just like, the, sure, the character could have worked. And even though he was an assist trophy, he could have been a character, sure. But just because of all those fans who ruined it for everybody. Like, that's why I was like, no, they better not put him in. And you know what? I'm glad. I'm honestly glad they didn't put him in. Put him in the next game. Honestly, there's going to be a next Smash Brothers game. I know some people are like, oh, will there be a, another Smash Brothers game? Of course there's going to be. Nintendo knows this makes way too much money. It generates way too much hype. Even if, you know, we're not going to get another old Smash Ultimate, at least for like, I'd say at least like 25 years um, at the earliest. But like, it makes them way too much money. Hey, Master Chief, how are you? I don't, I'm not sure what you're saying you're welcome for, but um, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for gracing your presence in this live stream. I guess that's what I could say thank you for. I'm guessing you're probably a, a Halo fan. I, I'm i honestly not into Halo myself too much. Um, but I know people are hyped for Halo Infinite. And I guess the multiplayer was actually originally... I think Nate the Hate was saying it was originally going to release uh, tomorrow, actually, for the, uh, the Infinite multiplayer. But I guess it's been pushed off a little bit. But even then, the campaign comes out in a few weeks, I think, right? So... I know people are hyped. Hopefully it'll be good. I, I hope for Halo fans that it's going to be a... Oh! How did I avoid the... Um, I really hope for Halo fans that it's going to be a good campaign. You know? I tried playing the Halo 2 campaign like years ago. Like my brother had Halo 2. I just never got into it. Oh! You're the one who just subscribed! Oh, thank you, Master Chief. I appreciate that. I honestly appreciate that. Thank you for tuning into this this, this small, tiny channel. <laughs> the legendary Master Chief himself. Whew, that was kind of scary. But we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah, you love Halo? You doing alright? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Hope you had a really good weekend. Hope you did some fun stuff. I went on a, a big hiking trip yesterday, so I was very exhausted. It was up in New Hampshire, and it was like... I did like three and a half hours of driving, and then like five hours of hiking. So it was a lot, but... Doing good, doing good. Glad to be streaming Smash Brothers. Um, just doing some, uh, my goal with the stream is to get Mewtwo up to level 50. Uh, the Mewtwo Amiibo. I just started off at level 1, getting that up to level 50, but... There we go. You know, I'm actually curious, Master Chief. Um, don't worry, you'll get there. Yeah, I'll get there eventually. It'll, it'll, it'll take, it takes a little while, but it'll get there. Um... But yeah, um, also, sorry for the 30-second the delay. I'm currently working on, like, the latency stuff on the back end. Um, but I'm, I'm curious to know for... I'm, I mean, I'm guessing you're going to try Infinite, right? Are you going to get it on... Do you, are you going to get it on Game Pass? Or are you just going to actually outright um, buy the campaign? Because I think... Well, correct me if I'm wrong. The campaign... Is that going to be available on Game Pass? Or do you still have to pay the 60 for it, actually? I'm curious to know. Oh, also, for some reason, your last message was retracted. Um, if, if it's because you've deleted, that's fine. But otherwise, I don't know why YouTube censored it. Um, YouTube. The YouTube. I've noticed the YouTube chat tends to be a little weird sometimes. Whoa. Uh-oh. That is... That's not a smart bomb. That's one of the X-bombs from Kid Icarus, I think. This is terrifying. <laughs> okay. That works for me. I'm sorry, I can't play as Master Chief in this game, but I can represent Microsoft with Banjo, right? Or I guess Steve. Master Chief would have been cool. I would have been definitely down to see Master Chief, but I think they ended it the right way with Sora. Like, Sora was just honestly a really good character to end on, but Master Chief would have been, like, the second big character I, I would have chosen to end the DLC with. That is not good. Wow! Yeah, we're getting to the point where the Mewtwo Amiibo is actually starting to pick up a little bit in terms of being able to actually execute some moves. Certainly not perfect, <laughs> To be honest, it gets a near perfect level 50. Oh, 120 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's definitely... I mean, like... Ooh! <laughs> this stage is terrifying. I forgot about the trains there. You just go flying back on the tracks. Um, yeah, no, I'm like... I'm just doing this as a hobby. I'm not even, like, making money off of YouTube or anything. I just do this. I, I work full-time, so I only stream a few times a week, but... I don't really do much content besides that. Uh, mainly just live streams, but... Yeah, I don't expect to get huge numbers. That's fine with me, though. As long as I have, like, a few people tuning in every now and then, that's what matters. I really started it because I... Wow. Okay, that was funny. 
I really started the, like doing the content just because I wanted to, especially with live streams, be able to interact with you know people like you in the chat who are showing up and just have a mini conversation on the side. You know, that's kind of why I started to just be able to interact with people more. Yeah, Link's just chilling on the train. He was like, "Haha, I'm gonna blow up the train on you," and then just do not last at all. But yeah, I mean, I would, I would love to grow at least a little bit on the channel for sure. But like, I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at big numbers right now. If I ever wanted to monetize stuff, that'd be one thing. But honestly, if I ever wanted to monetize a channel, I'd probably just make a new channel because there's so much like weird content on this channel as it is. Like, I have some content from like years ago that is not at all worth watching. Um, that I've just randomly done when I felt like it, you know, kind of like a hobby. Whew, okay. Shulk's solid. I'm not great with Shulk, but Shulk's fun. Oh. Uh, I forgot you can actually uh, do the directional inputs, too, for his... his um, what are they called? The uh, the special arts... I think they're called arts. The moves he does with the... Uh, you didn't know he was there ever since you first played. Oh, in terms of... Um, in terms of Link on the train, you mean? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, he, I mean, you can kind of miss him sometimes. Um, so he's, he's tough to see. He's pretty small on that map, but, um, I'm pretty sure if you play as Toon Link, it changes to, uh, Alfonso, that other character from Spear Tracks, which is what the stage is based on. Um, definitely, t uh, tough to notice, though. Oh, I love this song so much. This song that's playing right now, Open Your Heart from Sonic Adventure, this, this song embodies my childhood. This song is so, I absolutely love this song. Still waiting on that Sonic Adventure 1 remake. I'd take Sonic Adventure 2 as well. Woo! Oh! Ah! Okay. Get him in! I love how they introduce... I still haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles, at least the first game. Um, I love how they threw in Mecha Fiora there. I'm pretty sure that's like a major spoiler for the game too, so it's just funny how they threw her in there in his final smash. By the way, though, for anybody interested, um, actually, I think it literally ends today, so you'd have to get on it today. Um, but, actually, no, I think Target has two. So, this weekend, there was a deal. Amazon, Amazon, Target, and GameStop had a, like, a buy two, get one free deal on a lot of different games. Switch, Xbox One, PS4. I think there was some PS5 stuff in there. Um, and in the case of GameStop, there was also, like, a lot of, uh, 3DS games and things like that, because they still sell a lot of that in the stores. Um, even though it's a little old by now, but they had a two-for-one deal. Um, the issue is with GameStop, I think, yeah, I swear yesterday when I checked, the deal was, like, also included new games, but I just checked today, and it was only pre-owned, um, so if you're looking into getting newer ones, I would also, I would recommend either Target or Amazon, but then again, GameStop also had way more games in the deal. There were a lot of pre-owned games you could get, um, I was specifically looking at the Switch ones, and I did, actually, I did get a few games, so I got... Uh, I got three different games. I got Persona 5 Strikers, which I've been meaning to get for, like, so long since it came out in February. Uh, oh, this is gonna be terrifying. <laughs> That's gonna be scary. Uh-oh. How did you get in here? There are walls! How did you get in here? You're done, YouTube. Bye. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is- I love that it's a trophy. Um, oh, you've been playing Bioshock the Complete Collection. Nice. You know what? I played the demo of Bioshock 1, and, like... I've been meaning to actually try the games out because one of my one of my friends from high school like loves Bioshock. Um, I especially want to try out the first one. But what platform are you playing it on, by the way, Master Chief? You playing it on? I know it's on Switch, but I'm pretty sure it's on like PC and most other consoles too. I think. Um, I'd be curious to know if you have this if you're playing the Switch version, if um, you know how well it performs. But I'd probably want to get that on PC myself. Um, that seems like I mean. It was originally built for PC, I think, right? When the originals came out? I could be wrong on that, but, like... I imagine I imagine a keyboard and mouse would actually probably be preferable, at least for me, for that game. Um, but I'm sure it's definitely playable on a controller. And there he goes. <laughs> 8M, barely on the first one. You're on the Switch. Okay. Okay, yeah, because, I, I mean, I saw that that was actually one of the games that was in the two, the, um, the buy two, get one free deal. That was one of them, at least at GameStop. They had the, the Bioshock 
complete collection, which I considered getting, but does it run well, at least, on Switch? I imagine, I mean... I know, well, obviously the original games are very old, but I imagine even the remasters in the complete collection probably aren't too bad, right? Unless they're not even there. Actually, I'm not even sure. Are they the remasters in the complete collection? I would assume so, right? Because I know they remastered all the Bioshock games, like, or at least the first two, I think. Maybe not Infinite, like, a, at least a few years ago, I want to say. Um. <laughs> Mom, get out of my room. I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> Except there's a dog and a duck and a weird alien looking thing. But, yeah, so the, the, that deal, honestly, it was a pretty solid deal, but I ended up getting Persona 5 Strikers. I still haven't played the original Persona 5, but I don't have a PlayStation, so if they want to put it out on PC or uh, Switch, that'd be great. I'd love that. Um, but I figured, you know what, like, the review said you don't really, it's not required that you play Persona 5 before Strikers. It's like kind of like a uh, pseudo-sequel, but it's a completely different style of gameplay. More like a Dynasty Warriors game where you're, like, killing a bunch of enemies on screen at once. Um... And I figured, you know, I love the music, so I'm going to try that. Also, FNAF, Help, Wanna, and Little Nightmares. Oh, nice. Yeah, all of those. All three of those. I'm actually... <laughs> I'm curious. Did you actually um, get any of those in the deal? Because, like, they literally all three of those I saw were in that uh, buy two, get one free deal. At least at GameStop. But, um, yeah, I, I have very minimal experience with FNAF. Um, I think I stopped... I have, like, the first, like, four, and then I think I also have Sister Location. I was one of the few people who bought FNAF World when that came out. Um, that's my favorite FNAF game that I've played, but... Um, what is Help Wanted actually? Like, Help... Is Help Wanted... Was that after, uh... Did that come out after Sister Location? I don't even know the full story behind that game. Also, hey, King Cosmo, how's it going? Fight is man. I'm not, I'm not doing too well, I'm not gonna lie doing okay but i mean i'm also only fighting against the level 24 amiibo so definitely not uh super high class don't expect anything competitive here though king cosmo that's for sure <laughs> i have items on and everything Whew. oh how did that not reach whoa but yeah any anybody who's interested definitely if you're interested get on that to uh buy to get one free deal on i think it's still going on target and amazon too um, I know the GameStop one ends tomorrow, and right now it's only pre-owned games, so if you're not into pre-owned games, then, uh, I guess you're kind of out of luck there. But you could check. I know Target has some games that are on sale, um, or included in that sale, and I, I didn't even check Amazon, because fuck Amazon, honestly. Um, but I got Persona 5 Strikers, I got the Mega Man ZX Collection, I think it is, which I've never played those games, but I love the X games, and I've heard very good things about them. Um, so I really wanted to try those out, which is great. Nice, level 25, halfway there. And then, uh, I also got Ori and the Will of the Wisps. That was the third game I got. I'm actually thinking of streaming that game at some point. I think that'd be fun. The stream Will of the Wisps. Um, I played Blind Forest pretty much a year ago, and I really enjoyed it a lot. It was a really good, uh, Metroidvania, I will say. <laughs> In the Wait for Dread, it was a nice, uh, a nice buffer. But then again, like, we didn't even know about Metroid Dread. Not even close at that point. Um... But no, it was a really well-made Metroidvania, so... And I've heard the combat is honestly... Whoa, now he's juggling me. Oh, my God. The tail. Stop it. <laughs> now we're getting crazy. Okay, here we go. Now Mewtwo's getting good. Now it's going to be a fight. Super Missile. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Those blocks are going to kill you. Wow. Okay, I'm surprised. How did this not kill him? Uh, okay. I gotta concentrate a little bit. Mewtwo's actually getting kind of good now. Not good enough to take out Samus Aaron, though. Are you kidding me? Also, really? Do the blocks have to stop that? I can't even reach that piece of the daybreak now. It's just stuck under the blocks under there. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you can... I didn't know you can go through the blocks. Never mind. Okay. Mewtwo's smarter than me, apparently. Okay. I mean, he's down to two stocks, but I'm all... Oh, uh, I'm not looking too good. Do it again, I dare you. Okay. The tail, I swear, the tail. Yeah, you know, I'm curious. Can Mewtwo's tail deflect projectiles by any chance? Oh, no. Oh, I barely caught him. Right on the edge. Oh, that's going to help me a lot in this fight. Okay, perfect. Hey. Hey. 
Why are you so good at level 26? Stop. <laughs> or I'm just doing terribly, I guess. Oh my goodness. Wow, Mewtwo's doing really good for level 26. I am scared to see what level 50 is going to be. I'm also not, like, amazing at Smash Brothers. Honestly, I think the less I play of Smash, the better I get. Um, last time I played, though, I haven't played since streaming uh, Sora when Sora came out in Smash Brothers. <laughs> Did you see that flip right at the end? Okay, that was actually kind of hype. That was actually kind of hype. That quick 180 with the Daybreak and just literally right in front of him. Whew, that looked like it hurt. That looked like it hurt. Beautiful. Um, I'm curious, anybody watching, if you're watching live, or even if you're even if you're watching the VOD, let me know in the, the comments below. But, like, what is everybody thinking of that, uh, the GTA Remastered Trilogy, huh? I've heard some things. I've heard some things about that Remastered Trilogy. It's funny, because I was kind of, like, curious about it. Like, you know what? I've never played any of the GTA games. The one that I've wanted to play... Ooh, yes, Simon. Um, the one that I've wanted to play is, honestly, San Andreas. I've also heard really good things about Vice City. Um, not sure about GTA 3, but, like, I saw the remastered trilogy rumors, and then when they officially announced it, and I was like, you know what, like, that could be a fun game to have, especially on Switch, right? Because, like, I don't, from what I've heard, I don't think the mainline, um, GTA games have ever been on a Nintendo platform. I mean, they had some, I think, at least one portable game on the DS, from what I've heard. I think it's called, like, Chinatown Wars. Um, don't quote me on that, that's just what I've heard. But, um, I was kind of curious. I was like, okay, this could be cool to have on the, uh, the Switch. And, like, I wanted to try out San Andreas at some point. This might be the way to. But after hearing some stuff, uh, on the Spawn cast today, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Probably not a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah. Get out of here. Probably not gonna get that. Apparently, it's just completely messed up. Like, completely broken. Um, I guess the gameplay's mostly fine, but there's a lot of glitches and stuff, like, in terms of, like, character models. I guess with driving, um, there's a lot of glitches with, like, driving different cars, too. I guess the Switch version, with the frame rate while driving is supposed to be awful, from what I've heard. Um, so that's not ideal, you know? I, re I honestly really hate it when a game will come out on Switch and it just doesn't perform too well. And everybody just points to the Switch and says, oh, the Switch can't handle any of these games, like... Don't, it's not worth getting any of the Switch games. And, like, that's literally... Oh, I was way too far away. I forgot that's what his final Smash was, to be honest. Uh, get out of here, Mewtwo. You're done. No, I don't think... Oh, okay. It ran out. Good. Ooh. What? How? Okay. Get out of here, Mewtwo. You're done, buddy. Bye. There we go. Oh, not good. Okay. Somehow got back on the platform. Um, but it's just, I, I hate it when people say, like, because of, like, one game will come out, or a couple games will come out and just not run super, super well, you know, with ports and everything that come to the Switch, and they'll be like, oh, like, oh, the Switch game, the Switch can't handle these games, and, like, in some cases, yes, of course, the Switch is not nearly as powerful as, especially the PS5 or Series X, far from it. I don't even think it's as powerful as the PS4 and Xbox One, from what I've heard. You know, so, ooh, I don't like being frozen, though. No, no, no. Um, but, like, when you really look at it, I mean, first of all, the ports that I, when people say that, the ports that I point to are Doom 2016 and The Witcher 3. Both of what would have been assumed to be impossible ports for the Switch, and, like, people would assume would just run terribly, right? They actually, Doom 2016, I, I don't own The Witcher 3 on uh, Switch, but from what I've heard, it's pretty solid. Doom 2016 still looks a little muddy for sure, but it's super smooth, honestly, on Switch. Um, I think it's only 30, but even still, it's like, it's very, very playable. Um, and so it just shows you that if developers put in the effort, these games can be playable on Switch. There's the whole other argument about like cloud gaming and like having the games playable on the cloud, and that's a whole other conversation. Hey, one winged angel, okay. Kind of weird how we have Ganondorf and not Sephiroth here, but... See, we've got two of the villains, and it's... Oh, wait, no, I was gonna say, and it's on Midgar, but I'm like, of course it would be. That's the only way you can get the music on there. Mewtwo, no! Oh my goodness, the tail attacks! This Mewtwo Mebo's getting super good with the tail attacks. That's what's happening. Oh, crap. Uh-oh, who are you gonna summon? 
Oh, not Baham. Is that Bahamut? Is that what its name is? I still I need to catch up in my Final Fantasy lore. Um, literally the worst one. Good. At least your controls are reversed. Let's see if that affects you. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at it. Doesn't even know what to do. Doesn't even know what to do. Oh my goodness. Sorry for watching the stream right there, because that was uh, that was tough to look at. All right, I've got a fire bar. Come on. It would have been it would have been so perfect to have Sephiroth on the stage though. Oh, there we go. That warlock punch has that super armor on there. Or it did, sorry, not super armor. It doesn't make you flinch. Whoa, no, not good, not good, not good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. how did I avoid that? Ah, no! Ah, the Demon King. I will say, I, I really like that they changed this final smash to the Ocarina of Time, Ganon. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm sorry. Like, the one in, uh... Like, I know they had to do it because they had Twilight Princess Ganon, but, like, it was just not... Ooh, that's not good. Wow, this is close. It's just, well, I, don't, I, I do not like the Beast Ganon from Twilight Princess nearly as much as the Ocarina of, uh, of Time one, you know? Help me, Abra! Teleport him away! No! You're supposed to teleport him away from the uh, the summon thing there. What's it gonna be? Levi oh, no. Oh, this guy. I forget what his name is. I'm gonna stay on the edge here? Yep, not gonna go there. Ooh. Tapu Koko, help me! Oh, oh, what's happening? This is why we play with items on, because crazy stuff happens. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. Foolish child, you cannot fight off against me. I'm sure that's a line that Ganondorf said. I don't know if it actually is. That sounds like something Ocarina of Time Ganondorf would say. Well, yeah, anyways, GTA Remastered Trilogy. If anybody if anybody has any funny stories about that, let me know. I'd definitely be curious. Let me know in the chatter if you're watching um, the VOD in the, the comments below. Definitely be curious to hear about that, because, like, maybe they'll patch it out. Maybe they'll patch stuff out, but I know there's some bad stuff in there. Like, um, that infamous hot coffee mod, Steve... Uh, but with SNK music, what the hell? <laughs> On Battlefield. Can Bat- um, I'm trying to think, can Battlefields have any music? Is that why it's playing Stormy Saxophone? Oh, you know what? That was an update they added, I think, wasn't it? With, uh, you could pretty much add any stage music on Battlefield. That actually sounds familiar, so they must have done that. <laughs> A bomb? Oh! Okay, that was scary. You gonna let me craft my gold? I'm literally playing Minecraft now, look at that. Too bad we didn't get him on the Minecraft stage. There's the diamond. Just waiting for that. Let me craft my diamond. There we go. Oh, that's a good edge guarding move, that down smash too. Oh my god, wait. Hold up. See with the screw attack is so funny. He barely goes because like normally the screw attack actually like increases your jump a little bit. But literally, Steve's jump is so bad. I think it might be the worst jump in the game. Um, it, it's gotta be between Steve, Min Min, and Little Mac, but, like, that was so funny. The screw tech didn't even do anything. Good night, Moon. Get out of here. Uh, ah! But, yeah, like, so the, I, I guess that infamous hot coffee, um, I don't know if it was a mod or a scenario or something, and I believe it was San Andreas. You missed! Nice try, though. It looks cool. I'll give you credit for that. Um... Where there was some explicitly sexual sh scenes. I, I I made the mistake of looking up the video and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like, this is so stupid. Like, there's no way they could have gotten away with this. And they, they got a ton of backlash for it, I guess, in the original San Andreas game. Um, but, like... Woo! Bye! Oh, almost put that mic there. But, like, literally... Um, it, the mod was still found in the remaster trilogy game files like that's absurd like how could they not remove that of all things the other crazy part is apparently um so i mean from one thing from what i understand gta is really known for like it's licensed soundtrack when they get like really good music um go samurai goro summon a new f-zero game um uh oh <laughs> he's very steve <laughs> the house of boom Bye. Yeah, eat his meat. Eat your meat. Oh. <laughs> Did you see? Did you see the... <laughs> the... 
the way that the final smash KO'd Muti right there, it looked like Samurai Goro just destroyed him with his ass and sent him flying off the stage. That zoom in, that zoom in of Samurai Goro's beautiful butt right there. And then Mewtwo just can't handle it and it goes flying up. I love it. That's so good. But yeah, apparently, so the licensed track, uh, right, the soundtracks in some of the older GTA games apparently are pretty well-known, right? You got some well-known songs in there. I guess, like, Snoop Dogg was in one of them or something like that. It's the only one I really know. But um, they had, like, radio stations you could listen to while you're driving. And I think some of that music actually came back from what I've seen, from what I've heard. Um, yeah, Kirby, I like Kirby. Um, already played on the stage earlier, though. But, like, I guess um, they cut a little bit of it, of the original soundtracks in the remastered trilogy, which, I mean, makes sense. Like, licensing costs can be kind of a pain sometimes. Um, kind of crazy they got that originally in the original releases of the games. But, like, um, supposedly, some of the songs that weren't meant to be in the remastered trilogy, the licensed songs, are also still in the game's files. And I'm just like, how the hell did this happen? Like, it's one thing when, like, you know, I'm, I'm guessing what happened is Rockstar, like, rushed the games out and said, listen, we just need these games to be out now so people can talk about them and, you know, have them out for Black Friday, right? Like, it makes sense. And, like, but, like, unfortunately, because of that, sometimes um, I know this all too well as a Sonic fan where, like, the publisher will rush these games and they're, they come pretty broken with a lot of glitches. Like, we see with some of the visual glitches and other performance glitches with the remaster trilogy. But stuff like that... Where you just forget to remove certain game files, like, that are super, I mean, first of all, the hot coffee one, super controversial. Second of all, with, like, the music, that could totally, like, they could totally get sued for even having them in the game. Oh, Shadow, why weren't you a character? Uh-oh. No, Delby! Kirby, go! What? What? <laughs> That was bizarre. Kirby just froze to the top there. Shadow did something. Shadow did a number on him. Okay, you know, we played the stage earlier, but I didn't have stage, stage hazards on at the time, so this is definitely more interesting. <gasps> it's Mewtwo Kirby! Boom! I forget what that's... Is it like the Ultra Sword, I think? Return to Dreamland is one of the only Kirby games, like the main Kirby games I haven't played. I really need to one of these days. Um, just pick it up on the wave. You know, because I've, I've heard decent things. It's kind of what started the, uh, from what I understand, started the formula that, like, the other 3DS games, too, had. Like, Triple Deluxe and Robobot. And then Star Allies kind of beat to death. Um, and now we're going to get something new with, uh, what, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, I think it was called, right? So I'm definitely, I'm super excited for that, to be honest. Um, well, okay, no, I shouldn't say super excited, because I really just want to see more. You know, I want to see more of the game itself to see, you know, like, what exactly... Woo! How it actually plays out. Because, like, right now, the only gimmick just looks like it's, you know, 3D Kirby. I just, I want to see what new copy abilities are there. Or even returning old ones would be cool. Um, all I'm saying, listen. Listen, HAL Laboratories, all I'm saying, if you're watching the stream for some reason... Just give me the beetle again. Bring back the beetle from Triple Deluxe. Um, oh, that was not good. We had two final smashes this round. What the heck, man? Bye bye, Flame Kirby. Um, I think Bell. I also, I don't know if Bell has ever ever returned, but I'm pretty sure Bell was new in Triple Deluxe, and I really like that one too. The 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 circus, the clown Kirby. Eh, that wasn't as good, but it was still a thing. Um, you can bring that one back. I don't care. Um, I love, honestly, Magic Kirby in Kirby Squeak Squad was really fun. With, like, that. Like, Magic Kirby had so many different moves, too. I would love to see that come back. Um, I'm curious to see what other... We saw the basic ones, you know, like, Spike, Flame, Ice, Cutter, Sword. Pretty much the basic copy abilities in that initial trailer from the September... Uh, the September Nintendo Direct. If I can talk, that'd be great. Um, Ken! Oh, give him the shorter you can. Don't nope, miss it though. Um, but yeah, I, I'll just be—I'll be excited to see more of that game. I guess I, I think it comes out in spring, as far as we know right now. That's kind of—that's kind of it for now. That we—we we don't have an actual like release date or month or anything. I'm honestly gonna—I'm gonna guess April. 
if I had to pick a month for spring, I'm gonna guess April. Because then, like, Splatoon 3 is probably gonna be summer. And then I'm guessing if Bayonetta 3 does come out next year, it's gonna be, like, maybe October. And then supposedly Breath of the Wild 2 still comes out next year. I'm calling it. Like, I'm sorry. What the heck? Oh, like, the... I didn't know the Ice Climber items appear on the stage. That's so funny. I love that. I never knew that. That was one of the items from Ice Climber. I love that. And the Polar Bear. What's up, dude? The Burrowing Snuggert. Uh, there's so much going on. Sorry, I jumped from topic to topic a lot. But there's so much going on, especially with the items turned on in Smash. But I love it. It's so chaotic. All these amazing gaming franchises just being recognized here. Ooh. Ooh, got him. A little bit. Go, Akira! I love how they did the original Virtual Fighter model, too. It's so cool. I'm gonna land on this iceberg. There we go. No, thank you, Mewtwo! There we go. No, I'm getting pretty solid at avoiding Mewtwo's, uh... Final Smash here. Watch out for the fish! Potato. Whoa. Oh, I don't I honestly, I forgot how Ken's Final Smashes were compared to Ryu, so I am very lucky that I actually somehow got that. How am I still at three stocks? Wow. Okay. I'll take it. How am I not dead? Mewtwo, what are you doing, buddy? You're kind of... You're not doing too good right now, huh? Oh. Help me start you. It's a classic. Uh, whoa. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate for a bit here. Um, whoa. Hello. I didn't even notice you were there. Ah, rats. I was going for that. I was trying to go for that three stock. Um... Another very good news, I guess. Oh no no no! Okay, I can. I was gonna say I can probably spare another stock, but still, like, I thought I was screwed right there. Um, and very good news, actually. Um, apparently, Metroid Dread has sold super super well. Um, I think we recently. I think it was, that was actually. I think it was only the U.S. numbers to be on. Oh, the fish! The fish got him! <laughs> I I warned you. Oh, uh, that, that, just that, that music tracker, that takes me back to Street Fighter 2. That's, like, the only Street Fighter I've ever played, but, like, way back in the day, my brother and I played a lot of multiplayer on the PC with that. I still think that PC copy we had was a bootleg, and it was, or, like, a pirated version. I don't know. I don't think it was legit. But, yeah, Metroid Dread, so that's what I was talking about. I don't think the sales were global. I think they were just US. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. Um... I think they were global sales, but uh, oh, sorry, no. What am I saying? I, I think they were they were the U.S. only sales, but I think it was like what eight hundred fifteen thousand copies in the U.S. alone, and that I don't even think that was including digital to be honest. So like, we'll hear about global eventually, but like, um, it's doing pretty well. I mean, we do know it's like, wow, that was fast. It's really, it, it's literally, like, the best-selling, um, or the, the best opening, I don't know if it's the best-selling or the best opening weekend for a, uh, a Metroid game in Japan, because Metroid's always struggled a little bit in Japan, except for, like, I think the original NES one did very well, um, but, like, since then, I just don't think, uh, from what I've heard, it just hasn't done as well. I guess the... The previous best one was, uh, actually, I think Metroid Fusion. I don't even think it was Prime. I think it was Fusion, from what I saw. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it seems right that the sequel to Fusion would also sell even better than, than Fusion itself, you know? Oh, no! Why did I... My brother! I threw you off the cliff. I didn't mean to, though. I'm sorry. Can I collect the cherries, actually, for health? Nah, okay. Oh! <laughs> what? I completely forgot! Wait. I don't know what's the. Oh, I'm so stupid because they got. I'm such an idiot. They got rid of the, the Final Smash you could control. Right, okay. I was gonna say, it's gonna be. I think, it, I think Mewtwo might beat me here, but. Ah, yeah, I mean, probably still, but you never know. 
save me! Oh. Yeah. I guess you're really not gonna help a lot, are you? What? Wait, what? What did that... I don't know why that Pokemon's name is escaping me at the moment, but why did you do that? What? I don't even know what it did. The heck? Yeah, there we go. Barely one of the feature. I don't even know how. Have I... Not to... Not to my own horn, but I have I lost a match yet? I don't even know if I have. Level 40 already? Holy crap. How is it already level 40? It's only been an hour. I guess maybe this will be a shorter stream then. I don't know. That's funny. I start, I streamed a little bit later tonight, too. I was actually... I was on a family call. It was my sister's birthday today, so... I uh, jumped on a family call for that. I was a little worried, though. It was going to go on past the usual 7 p.m. Eastern time. Hey, Sora! I need to get better with Sora. I love how he plays, but I am just not good with him. Based on my progress from last stream, I am not good with Sora in the slightest. I just like sp I like to spam the um, I like to spam the side B. I think it's really fun. <laughs> Besides that, I am not good. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Okay. I didn't know the Star Rod could deflect projectiles like that. Cool. Come up here. Come on. Oh. Ah. Get out of here. A day to try to come up here. Yeah, okay. You cannot take on the Keyblade wielding monster. You know, go back Go back to that... Uh, actually, now that I think about it, that uh, the two-for-one deal I was talking to you about. Hey, Jared, okay, you know what? I thought about that. <laughs> okay, I legit thought about that. I literally... I've been meaning to do this stream for the past month, and it just so happened that it, it fell on the day before we were going to play. Um, you know, just for that, I'll play, like, Little Mac only tomorrow or something like that. Or I'll, pl I'll play with the Handicap tomorrow. How does that sound, okay? Ah. But no, I've been meaning to do this Amiibo training for forever now. I almost thought I wasn't going to be able to do it tonight just because I was on a family call earlier for my sister's birthday. Um, I was, I just, I needed to get it done. Seal the keyhole! Lock him up! Put him in jail where he belongs! Also, Jared, this is your chance to see how Sora actually works. It's all good, just funny. Yeah, no, Jared, literally, it's just the timing of it. Like, I was going to do it last weekend, then I was like, you know what, I don't feel like doing this. And then before that, I was going to do it like a month ago. And then I was like, nah, I don't feel like doing it. So now I'm like, okay, you know what? It's been long enough. I had a Twitter poll for it like a month ago. So I'm like, you know what? I really, I need to just, I need to get it done. You know, I've got a checklist of a couple of things that I, I said I was going to do for streaming that I haven't done yet. Um, one of which you'll see very soon. So stay tuned. Um, and by very soon, I mean in probably like a couple weeks. But uh, yeah, it, it was about time. You know, but hey, now, Jared, now you get to see Sora in action a little bit. Not a good Sora, but like you get to see him in action at least. Ooh. Oh, beware is terrifying. You're done, mute. You get out of here. You're done. Mute. Uh, beware. You voted for Mewtwo, Jared. You're the reason why Mewtwo's happening right here. That's you. It's all because of you. Well, no, so actually, what it was is that, like, there are a couple of other people who voted for different ones, so it was a three-way tie. And then I hit up uh, one of my other friends from WPI. I don't know if you ever knew him, but um, I hit him up, and I was like, okay, out of these three, which one should I do? And he said Mewtwo, and I was like, okay, it's Mewtwo. <laughs> he was the tiebreaker, so yeah, you voted for Mewtwo. You and my friend Chase voted for Mewtwo. So it's because of Mewtwo that I'm doing this right now, so. Technically, isn't it your fault that I'm playing this game the night before we're supposed to play? So technically... It is your fault if I win against you tomorrow. <laughs> it is what that means, by that logic. Just saying. You played yourself. Congratulations. Nah, I'm only joking, but... It's, just, it's funny how the timing worked out. I'm shocked, though. How is, how is it already level 42? Then again, I mean, the last 10 levels generally take a while to get done, so... It's going to take a little longer than I thought. Maybe only an hour and a half stream tonight, though. We'll see. You were supposed to play a month ago. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm joking, Jay. It's all your fault, damn it. Now, I'll come up, I'll come up with some, some handicap for tomorrow. I'll come up with something. 
I mean, I'll probably do random for sure, because I just like doing random and maybe get some of the shitty characters. Or the characters, I, I should say the characters I'm not very good at. Ah, oh no, they spotted Cloud! This, this kind of works, honestly. Having Cloud be on the Metal Gear Solid stage, it looks like Midgar a little bit, right? Hey, Jared, I want to get your opinion on this, or anybody else watching, too. Um... Do you think Final Fantasy VII Remake will ever come to PC? Oh, that's not good. Um, I hope the answer is yes, because I really want to play it. <laughs> and I, I, I probably could run it somewhat on this PC. Um, that's what I'm hoping for, though. That, that's, the, that's the real dream. The real dreams are Persona 5 on either PC or Switch, and then Final Fantasy VII Remake on PC. Because there's no way in hell, not even a Cloud version is coming to the Switch. No way in hell. But I, I would love to play that game. I, I must admit, I've watched way too many of the cutscenes on YouTube of the remake, so, like, I kind of know some of it as it goes, but, like, I mean, the, the, the original game's also super old, so, like, you know, it is what it is. Whoa! They're gonna spot me again! This is gonna be close, actually. Holy crap. Wow, Mewtwo's... Final Smash Meter is filling up very quickly. I'm surprised. Maybe because I'm just dealing a ton of damage. I'm close, though. I'm close. Wah! Whoa! Oh, yeah. Cloud is Limit Breaks, right? Come on. Get down here, Mewtwo. Get down here. Come on. Down you go. Down here. Oh, no. Crap. Whoa! Oh, I think that's it. I barely avoided the up smash there. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, crap. No, you're not done. Get out of here. <laughs> when in doubt, up air with Cloud. Up air with that. The big ass sword. Barely. Can I just say, I love when the characters... It seems worse than before. No, I didn't change the latency settings. Let me let me just double check to be safe. Actually, I don't even know if I can check now. Uh, it's still on, so okay. So that Jared, that's something I'm working on because originally I had the normal latency set, but the reason why I have normal latency, I didn't change anything. So maybe it's just my network or something being stupid. I hope not, but I don't know. Um, I did originally. Um, I've been doing normal latency because of closed captioning. I wanted to offer the closed captioning as an option for people who wanted it, but I did a Twitter poll, and, like, from the results that I saw before, I don't think anybody uses it. And, like, the captions aren't really good, to be honest, so. Oh, you said a swear that it filtered. Oh, because normally what's weird is, like, sometimes, like, YouTube will say message retracted in the chat, and it'll be like, okay, they... Either they deleted their message or they said something weird and YouTube censored it. But I didn't even get anything on my end, so wow, it just must have removed it without even saying anything. Interesting, okay. You used a no-no word, kiddo. <laughs> no, no, no words allowed here. I mean, I can say them however much I want to, but you guys can't. <laughs> Nobody in chat can. <laughs> it allows some of them. It depends on which one it is. Like, I'm pretty sure shit and hell are fine because they're pretty tame, but like... I don't know. I don't, I don't know how far YouTube goes, to be honest. Sometimes it just gotta be unfiltered, though. Honestly, like, I don't think there's a setting I can do on my end, but, like, if there was a way to, like, not have it just completely censor everything, I would, uh... I would, you know, like, disable any censoring, because, like, sometimes you just gotta go unfiltered. <gasps> Kukumuku! I love Kukumuku. He's adorable. Or it's adorable, I should say. More Pokemon. Eevee. Okay. Eevee's cool, but kind of plain. Also, Jared, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It filtered shit? Really? Really? I swear I've seen people say shit before. I swear I've seen people in the chat be like, yo, this live stream is absolute shit. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I actually haven't seen that, but I'm sure some people have thought it. Whoa. Um, Jared, I, I'm, I'm sorry about Xenoblade Definitive Edition today. You called Ice Climbers shitty. I mean... Honestly, I think Ice Climbers are pretty solid, to be honest. Um, I don't know if they're as broken as they were in, like, Melee and Brawl, but, like... 
I don't I don't know. I think they're pretty solid. That's just me. Wow! Suck the life out of them. Suck out the Mewtwo juice. Oh, not good. <laughs> I never learned how to read. Get him. Garrett, have you bought Metroid Dread yet? You better get on that. Oh, that is... <laughs> that Metroid screwed him over big time. Oh my goodness. Literally just let him into the river. Oh, we're both slow. I don't like that. Get out of here. If I can't read, neither can you. I kind of hate this stage, to be honest. The, 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 the water below is so bad. Jared, you just you gotta buy Metroid Dread, man, because like it's selling super well. We gotta keep we gotta keep it going. We gotta keep it selling super well. We need Nintendo to know that Metroid's still good. Honestly, but no, you're probably honestly you're probably fine if you didn't buy it, but um, because it's selling well enough as it is. Honestly, it's like literally the best. It's it's gonna be the best selling Metroid game, assuming it can pass Prime. But it's a big one. It's good to see. You just don't like them, which is why this is completely irrelevant. Okay, well, the reason why they're still on the roster is because, I mean, for Ultimate, it makes sense, right? I was actually talking about this earlier, uh, before you showed up, about Dr. Mario being in Smash 4. And I was like, can you, okay, do, I, I, I want to know, Jerry, do you agree with me that Dr. Mario being in Smash 4 was kind of stupid? Like, Ultimate, obviously, it makes sense because they're bringing every single character back. But Smash 4... Like, even, okay, at least Dark Pit was a relevant character being in Kid Icarus Uprising. Same thing with Lucina. Dr. Mario was just kind of like, I remember seeing the leaks for Smash 3DS before the game release and being like, why the hell is Dr. Mario there? Like, it's only because of melee nostalgia, right? Ultimate makes total sense, but I just, I do not feel like Dr. Mario had to be in Smash for it. Ooh, my old main, Mega Man. I have not forgotten you, my child. <laughs> this is a solid stage. It's a good stage. Sometimes I get sick of the traveling stage. It's not gonna lie, but like this one's solid. I, I like the scenery in this one. You're getting dread for Christmas. Let's go. Okay, no, no, no. I'm happy. That's good. That's good. Jared, just because of that, I promise you, one day, maybe like in the near future, I will actually get Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I will get it. It is up on my list of, like, it's it's on, like, top five first-party Switch games to get. Along with, like, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, honestly, I do want to try ARMS. I, sh I should say uh, games that have already released. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. I don't know what the fifth one would be. Yeah, Dr. Mario wasn't in Brawl, so yeah, it is kind of weird. Yeah, I know, right? Wasn't it weird? You're getting tried for Christmas you're excited for. It just wasn't something you needed immediately. You know what? That's fair. That is completely fair. Um, if you want it, there is a demo you could try out. If you, if you really wanted to play it. But yeah, no. Honestly, I would try to go into it. I hope you avoided spoilers. I know. I mean, I don't think you watch my streams, right? So I kind of hope you didn't if you're going to play for yourself. Because it's just... Oh, it's so good. Dude, Dread is so good. Legitimately, it is... It is one of the, if not the best game I've played in literal years. Like, that game and Sonic Mania are probably... I mean, I, okay, you know what? Let me think about this, okay. Breath of the Wild, yeah. Between, like, Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Sonic Mania, and Dread. Dread is one of the best game I've, games I've played in the last five to ten years. It is just really, really good. Oh, and Ultimate, duh. I have, include, I have to include this game. I'm playing it right now. It's just the control's so good. The audio design is, like, literally amazing. Jared, if you can, I would recommend, like, I played that game when I did a 100% hard mode when I did that run. I did, um, I was doing handheld mode. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I was doing handheld mode, um, lights off completely in the dark with, like, proper headphones on. Because, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it just don't work. <laughs> because the audio design is so good. It is so... Ooh, that's the first one Mewtwo won. I mean, level 44 already, so it makes sense. Um, the audio design in Dread is impeccable. It is so good. Luigi's Mansion 3 is great, and yeah, you've... Been Dread spoilers free? Good. Good. Nintendo, okay. Here's the stupid part. Nintendo kind of 
like had a spoiler they, they pretty much had a spoiler for dread in one of the later trailers and everybody was pissed off about it i don't know if you saw that um hopefully not hopefully you avoided that because it's a really cool enemy in the game um but uh, it's super good it's super good um try definitely try to go into it spoiler free if you can um have you actually have you played some of the earlier metroid games by the way i would say if i mean you don't you don't really have to to be honest but at least if you've played fusion beforehand i think that definitely helps in terms of like the story a little bit but it's really not necessary in the slightest um luigi's mansion 3 though now that you bring that up that is one that i definitely want to check out as well i've just i've never played any of the luigi's mansion games um but it, i mean that one seems like it'd be a, a solid one to start with um i mean i guess i i could try to hunt down a copy of uh the original on gamecube but it's probably super expensive um i know this is a 3ds remake too i guess i could have done that whoa but um yeah that's one i gotta look out for honestly out of all of them i'd say fire emblem's probably at the top for me out of all those um Oh, you know what? I gotta try out, uh... I, well, maybe at some point I'll try out Gen 8 Pokemon as well. There's, there's a bunch of first-party games I should probably try out, eventually. You avoided most of the trailers, but you do know about the... Oh, okay, you do know. I mean... Oh! Why'd I do that? No! I wasn't paying attention. Crap! Fine, need to you get that one over me, buddy. I mean, he's probably gonna beat me anyways, but... Yeah, no, there was one specific one that everybody was pissed off about because Nintendo showed it in one of the trailers. Um, and I mean, everybody was rightfully pissed off about it. It was so stupid. I don't know why they had it in the trailers to begin with. It was, it was really dumb. Um, wow, how did that not kill me too? Whoa! Not ready for that. Okay, me too. Get off the stage, please. Let's go. Bye bye. Oh, okay, that's it. Oh, are you gonna save me? Oh, I was gonna say, is Vital Smash gonna save me there? You watch playthroughs of every non-prime game and played Samus Returns. Okay. Honestly, because, like, I have some friends from high school. Like, one of my friends from high school who's a super big Metroid fan. And he was like, oh, it looks like Samus Returns. I'm like, dude, this looks so much better than Samus Returns. Does it look similar? Sure. Like, it looks like probably what Samus Returns would have looked like on the Switch. But it's just obviously looks way better. It controls way better. The story's way better. The audio design's way better. The one thing I will say is that um, pacing's really good. Boss fights are great. Um, the one thing I will say is that there's really no, like, super catchy music in the game. It's it's way more atmospheric. That's kind of the tone they go for. So, I mean, if you're into that with Metroid, then, you know, you're probably not going to find that there. But they, they, they more than make up for that in the audio design. It's just, oh, it's so good. Like, if you want to, you don't have to go full in like I did, but if you really want to, like, I would recommend playing in the dark with proper headphones on and just, oh, it's so, it's so, so good. Easily one of my favorite games of the last decade. Easily. Like, top five for sure. I probably have to put Sonic Mania number one, though. I, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a shill for Sonic, what can I say? I have to, I have to like Sonic games. <laughs> It looks like updated Sam Returns combat, but way sharper. Yeah, exactly. Way sharper on the Switch. It's just... It's so dumb, because, like... I mean, like, obviously, everybody has their own opinion on the value of games, right? But, like, hopefully they're not watching. I doubt they're watching. But literally, they were like... I was like, you guys should totally get Dread. Like, it's a really, really good game. And they were like, oh, this game isn't worth $60. And I was like... I mean, first of all... That is an opinion that one can have if it's worth it or not. That's not, like, a fact. Unless it's, like, actually a terrible game. Like, for example, Balan Wonderworld. That is not worth $60. Um, oh, I can control this one. Cool. Boom. Nice. But, like, for the most part, with a, with a game that still, like, has, like, a solid... Like, a, it's, it's a well-crafted game. Like, whether it's worth $60 or not to, or whether, whatever price it's worth, that's very subjective. And I was like, second of all like it's just a really good game like i mean if it's not worth 60 dollars to you that's different but like don't go ahead and say that it's not worth 60 dollars because that's just kind of that's being a little i don't even know what the right word for that is like 
It's just, it's, it's not, it's not like they're trying to make it a factual thing when it's really a subjective opinion, whether, like, a, a game's value, you know what I mean? Like, for example, for me, No More Hero 3, personally, is not worth the $60. Um, I don't even know if it's worth the $50 I could get for it at Walmart with the physical version, but, uh, to some people it is, you know what I mean? And it's, from what I can tell, it's a pretty solid, you know, fairly well-crafted game. I know it has some bugs here and there, but... I definitely want to check it out at some point. I just don't know if I'm ready to enter at 50 or $60 there. Um, okay, yeah, I'm glad we share the same sentiment, Jared. It just, it kind of bothers me, especially when my, well, one of my best friends from high school, it's just his, he doesn't, it, he says it's not, it's not worth $60, like, factually, and he's a huge Metroid fan. And I'm just like, listen, kid. I mean, what? Oh my, <laughs> wait. That that was the uh oh what is it called from no what oh, okay I killed it oh no crap I almost died there oh my goodness that was was that Palkia's little I didn't know Palkia did that with that beam in the bottom there that was weird this stage is bizarre um yeah it's just he's a big Metroid fan and like I mean he doesn't even have a switch that's definitely part of it but like I was considering I, I told him like I would literally consider getting an OLED. And selling him this switch secondhand, um, but now I'm not even gonna get the OLED. I'm waiting on the whatever the the next big thing is, <laughs> whether it's 4K or not. Um, the successor. Hopefully it's backwards compatible at the very least. Oh rats! I was hoping I was gonna air dodge that final smash, but no. Um, everyone has to make their own decision for every game, whether it's with the cost. Exactly. Except for Balan Wonderland. That's like the one game. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. There's, there's, I mean, there's plenty of games you can look at and straight up say, like, that's not worth $60. Um, GTA Remastered Trilogy, probably not worth $60 from what we're seeing with all those glitches and everything. Um, apparently, you can't even get that game on PC anymore. They, like, had to take it down from PC, and there's no way. They're not even giving refunds to people, apparently. Um, unless it's updated over the last day, that's what I heard. Yeah, no, I've heard that game is so bad. The sad part is, like, I was kind of interested in that game because, like, um... Ooh, Lucina, my other old main from Smash 4. Um, yeah, Balan. Yeah, like, I was kind it, Like, it looks solid. The cutscenes looks great. Apparently, the, the cutscenes and the music are very good. But, like, obviously, the game itself looks like it's pretty much trash, but... Um, poor Yuji Naka, man. Yuji Naka, because he, he was literally... He was considered a, a video game prodigy back in the day. He was the Miyamoto of Sega. You know, when they were making the original Genesis Sonic games. And then the issue is just that, like, he's a good programmer. He's not a good designer, necessarily. And with, um... Give me that healing shield. With, um, Balan Wonderworld, he was, like, the main designer. I think it was a pretty small team, from what I can tell. Um, but he was also, like, the main designer of that game. And <laughs> as a result... It kind of, it's, it's one of those things where if you leave someone with that much influence, go unchecked, right? It's just like, the product probably isn't going to be too great, so. Here him! Hey, I killed you in Skyward Sword HD, okay? You don't need to be here, too. I have such a newfound appreciation for Gear him after playing through Skyward Sword HD. Like, actually, he's so cool. I love him. Way better than Zant, let's be real. So much better than Zant. Probably the best in terms of all the, um... Like, honestly, I argue better than, like, Aghanim or any... Or Yuga. Well, mm, Yuga's tough. But definitely, I would say better than Aghanim from, uh... That's not good. Link to the Past. In terms of, like, the side villain characters in the Zelda games. You know, I think him's easily one of the best ones. No, Zero. Zero, I don't want to fight you. What am I fighting for? Ah, stop it! This isn't X4. Go back to your own game. Damn it. Oh, man. You got me. Zero's tough. Gear him needs to be character in the next Smash game. Yeah! We we need straight up a new Zelda character in the next game, Jared. You're 100% right. Gear him would be a great contender. I mean, honestly, throw in some of the champions, too. Dude, if Urbosa is a playable character, I would, like, lose it. Um, I don't know if they would could combine all the champions, but, like... If you're gonna do one of them, I would love Verbosa to be honest. But I know that's just me being uh, a little biased there. But I think she would be probably one of the better fits out of all of them, to be honest. But um, this is gonna be a tough match, by the way, or a close match, I should say. I haven't even used a counter, I don't think. 
Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Rats. Won't do enough damage, but... Uh, Gearham would be a great choice, to be honest. Very good villain. I love I love how, like, crazy he gets by the end of the game. And honestly, that final fight against him was so cool. I love that final fight against Gearham. That was my favorite fight against him at the very end. Um, the Demise fight? Yeah, the Demise fight was pretty tough, I will say. Um, come at me, come on. Aw, oh, rats. Ready? No, I'm trying to counter at the right moment. Yeah, get him with the counter! <laughs> Oh, that was so good. If I didn't have a counter, if I didn't have a character with a counter right there, I would have died. That would have been it. Oh my god. I should not have won that. Thank you, Lucina. You did it. My girl pulled through. Beautiful. Yeah, honestly, Jared, next Smash character, just, I really, I mean, Sakurai said there's probably never going to be another ultimate. At the very least, I think it would take another, like, 25, 30 years for one to ever reach that peak again. But it probably will never happen again. But, like, cut a lot of the characters, revamp their... Uh, yeah, I don't know how I got that, by the way. Um, ooh, this is a cool song. I don't even know what this is. Um, oh, I'm Lucas. Right, I'm not Mewtwo, though. <laughs> um, I don't know if it would give me Mewtwo just because I'm. Uh, it's using him as the other character, but... Um, Cut a lot of the, for the next Smash Brothers game, cut a lot of the characters, cut like most of the roster, except for probably like the core, the core like uh, 12 or whatever. You could probably keep the core 12 just for like tradition's sake. And then some of the characters from Melee, Chef Kawasaki, no, you're my friend, buddy. I have a plush of you. You don't have to come after me. No. Oh, the fish almost got him. No, Chef, it's okay, buddy. Listen, listen, no, no, buddy, listen, no. He's cooking, Lucas! No! We're having human tonight! Actually, I don't even know if Lucas is human, to be honest. I'm guessing so, but I've never played Mother 3, so I couldn't tell you. No! Not the fish! Crap! That's it! That's it! No! Oh! Oh! How'd I survive that? Ooh. This is why we play with items on, because it's so much more chaotic and fun. Jared, don't worry. We won't blow- No! Not the fish again! We won't play with items tomorrow. Don't worry. I just like it for streaming, because it's fun to watch. Whoa! The launch star, okay. But yeah. Like I was trying to say again. Uh, next match game, cut most of the roster. Um, or a good chunk of the roster, I should say. Especially like Jared, like you were saying. Some of those random obscure characters, like Ice Climbers. I'm even tempted to say Game & Watch, to be honest. Um, maybe even Rob, Duck Hunt, you know. Um, Ice Climbers, like we talked about before. No! No! Um, you know what I mean? Like, get, like keep, like, the main ones, and then, yeah, add some brand new ones from the more recent games, and change up the movesets, please. Like, we've been working with the... Oh, nice. 69. But you're gone. Um, that did not end well for me at all. I'm not good with Lucas. Um, we've been dealing with the same movesets with the, the core cast for, like... What? Oh, a little over 20 years now. So change those up. That'd be great. Um, there's a lot they could do. I don't understand, though, how some people have been saying, like, there's not going to be another Smash Brothers game. How could there not be? Like, I know Sakurai said something about, like, he doesn't see how the series could continue on without him. I see that to a degree, but especially because there's not going to be... Not that... I mean, I love Sakurai's work, of course. But... Oh, look, the booby girls. Um, ooh, the gold kind of looks cool, not going to lie. But, like, of course there's going to be another Smash Brothers game after this. Because it makes way too much money. And it generates way too much hype. So, of course there's going to be another one. Um, whoa, okay. There we go. You know what I mean? Even if it's not made by Sakurai himself. But if there's not going to be another Ultimate. Like, I know he's, he said, like, he doesn't know if it could exist without him. Um, but, like... I, I think it could, especially if it's going to be, like, a, a core, more Nintendo-focused game with maybe a few third-party characters. I honestly, I still, I think it could be done without Sakurai. Like, I don't think he absolutely 100% has to work on the game, you know? Would it be great if he did? Sure. But, like, I also want to see him work on other stuff, too. You know? Sakurai should make the next F-Zero. Bring F-Zero back, you know? <laughs> stuff like that. Oh, what the heck? I don't even know the blocks could appear over there. Then again, this is a melee stage, and I have the least familiarity with melee. Oh no! Bombs, I Bill. 
Hey, there we go, Rex. You're not in the game, but you're here in the final smash. And, you know, you can be in a, a meat costume as well. Oh, rats. That ain't good. That's it. <laughs> I'm done. There she goes. I'll take these, though. Thank you. I like to do the strategy with Pyra and Mithra of having, uh... You know, using Mithra for a bit, because she has pretty good combos and pretty fast, and then ending things with Pyra because of the power there. Boom! Looking okay right now. We'll see how this ends, but mainly because the items have been helping me here. I probably only need a couple more matches after this, and then I'll be good, but... So yeah, okay, I've been going for ha uh, an hour and a half now. Not bad, but... A, a, a slightly shorter stream than normal. It was weird, though, because I looked at the, uh... Oh, not good. I looked at the, uh how long the uh, Samus Amiibo training was from last time, and it was over two hours, so I don't know why that one took me longer. Whereas Mewtwo's been doing pr uh, it's been pretty fairly fast, to be honest. At least that's what it seems like. Whoa, okay. Yeah, you know, I want to I wanna be Mithra for now. Get some more combos in on there. There we go. To be honest, Xenoblade 2 is going to be probably the least likely game I'd go back to out of all the Xenoblade games. Um, or at least, sorry, not go back to, but try out. Um, I still have Xenoblade X sitting on the shelf, and I put about 10 hours into that game when it came out originally, but, um, I would definitely want to try Definitive Edition over 2, for sure. Um, I mean, go both games are going to be ridiculously long, for sure, but, like, I think I've even heard that, uh, oh, crap, no, no, that's not good. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Did I lose, oh, no, I was going to say, did I lose my final smash? Yeah! And there we go, that's it. Burning sword! Get him! There we go. Maybe one one day in like 50 years I'll buy it and never play it. I just... I've got so many games in the backlog to get through. It's just like, it keeps growing and growing. I just gotta find the time. You played a similar amount of X, maybe even less. Just didn't like it. I liked the idea of it. Um, it just couldn't hook me and keep me going. That's also because, Jared, like, I don't play, like, you, you know, I've told you before, I don't play, like, a ton of, like, super, super long games. A game has to be really, really good for me if it's a really long game for me to really stick with it. Um, you know, like, I mean, even, like, Witcher 3, I only put about, like, 10 hours in, and then I kind of put it down. That was almost a year ago at this point. Um, a game just really has to hook me if, if it's that long, but, like... Yeah, I can understand, because it, it seems pretty different from all the other Xenoblade games. Um, you know, I like the concept of it. Cool, like that futuristic new Los Angeles, I think it was called. And, like, the mechs look so cool. I didn't play enough to ever unlock the, uh, this... What are they called? The Skells, I think, or the Dolls? I mean, well, one of those is the Japanese name for it. I don't remember what, but, um... It just, the concept of it was so cool. It just, yeah, it just, it, it didn't hook me that much, but... One day, hopefully in the near future, I will try Definitive Edition. You know, I'll probably buy it at some point. Maybe next year. But then again, there's so many first-party good first-party games coming out next year that I don't even know. Because, like, I try to limit, like, new first-party games that I buy to, like, one every few months or so. So, like, I'm going to be getting... I'm, de I'm, I'm sold on Legends Arceus. I am sold on that game. Uh, I'm gonna be buying that when it comes out in late January. I'm guessing Kirby's coming out and probably I, I'd probably guess April We only know spring right now, but I'm gonna guess April um, I definitely want to get that game when it comes out um, I'm definitely I'm considering Splatoon 3. I didn't play 2, but I played 1 and really liked it I just I want to catch up with 3 because it looks really good um, Octopus Octopus go away Bye. <laughs> um, that was an easy win there, but... Oh, wow, wait. Holy crap, I'm already on my second stock. That's not good. Um, yeah, these two's doing pretty good here. I could use a 9 right about now. But then... Splatoon 3 is, I think, summer. Right? Oh, have they even... I don't even know if they've confirmed summer. I don't even know what they've confirmed for that game. Oh, that was a 1. <laughs> oh, I don't know how he got me there. I thought I avoided that one. Kirby's another one you don't need to play right at launch. Not bother with Splatoon. Yeah, you know what? I, for me, honestly, I'm probably not even going to get all those games, to be honest, right away. I'm just kind of caught up in the hype of it. So we'll see if I actually buy them. But, like, Legends RC is the, is the one right now that I'm actually, like, super sold on. Like, I'm going to get that game. It just, it looks, I, I love the concept, and it looks pretty solid. Um, hoping we, we see more of it soon. 
really hoping it doesn't get delayed, but I mean, obviously, if it needs to get delayed for quality purposes, then by all means, delay it however long they need to. Because, um, I mean, even the fact that they had Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and um, Legends RC is that close together is still crazy to me that they did that, but made sense since they were outsourcing Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um, I could really use a 9 right now, Game Watch, by the way. Ah! Hoping for that 9. Legends RC is guaranteed day one. Yeah, me too, Jared. I'm thinking I might actually stream, like, I might do, like, a one-off stream for Legends Arceus. Just to, like, show, like, the first introduction part. Because that's not a game I want to stream, like, for a while. That's something I want to play on my own, just because it's going to be long. Uh, that is a game that I, yeah, I really, really want to get that day one. Like, that looks, that looks great. That looks amazing. Um, it's not super technically impressive, sure, but, like, the concept is just, oh, it's so good. Just... The fact that you can literally just throw Pokeballs into the wild and not have to open a separate menu, that alone, like, sold me on it. Way more immersive than the separate menu that the core games do. And I just, uh, I, I, I hope it's, um, well, you know what, because, Jared, considering you're a pretty big Pokemon fan, I'm curious, do you, assuming Legends Arceus, you know, does well, and it's, it's a, it's a well-crafted game in terms of the open-world ideas, do you want Pokemon to, like, the core series to go in that direction going forward? Or do you still want the traditional, like, eight gym system, fairly linear gameplay style? As, as a, a big Pokemon fan, I'm curious what uh, what you kind of want going forward from that. Or if you just want the open world to still be spin-off games, you know? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a long game. I'm Like I said, I'm gonna stream it, like, once, I think. Tapu Coco! Coco! I might just do it just to get the views, you know, do one a one-off stream, like my introduction to it. Just check it out the one time, I think that'd be cool, and then I'll start playing it on my own after that. Oh crap, that's not good. It can go through platforms, can't it? Oh crap! <laughs> oh, it got me. Wait, holy crap, how is Mewtwo already at two what? How is Mewtwo at two stock? Oh sorry, one stock left. How? What are you doing, Mewtwo? Great Aether! Boom! That honestly, that could have come close to KOing him considering he was on the top of the platform there. Yeah, you know, I, I really, I do want to fix this latency thing. I I mean, I, I hate to get rid of closed captioning, but if no one's using it, I might just get rid of it. They're not even good captions either, because YouTube's captioning system's terrible. <laughs> come after me, come on, do it again, try it. Try again, I'll just count you. Do it again, come on, one more time. There you go. <laughs> Third time's the chug. Just took one extra time. Then. There we go. I fight for my friends. You do, Ike. I'm proud of you, buddy. Alright. Looks like it's going to take one more match. You need to play it first before giving an opinion on that, but I would likely want them to continue to make the games in that style, whether it becomes the main style. Oh, so you would actually want... Well, I guess because, I mean, you're, you're a massive fan of Breath of the Wild, too, right? So, like... I guess that makes sense that, um, you know what, okay, you know what, to keep in tradition, no, I got, I have a tradition to uphold here, um, where my, my friends and I have this tradition where the last match we do for, um, any Smash session or whatever we play is always Donkey Kong, so I'm gonna choose, what, what song do I want, I've, I've got time, this is, this is probably gonna be the last match I would guess. Oh, we got we got to go with the, the the best song in the game, the greatest song in the game, the Gangplank Galleon remix for K Rules trailer. Oh, absolute perfection! I'll say okay. I'll, I'll clarify the best remix in the game. One of the best. Give me the Green Monkey. There we go. Let's go. This should be the last match here. But yeah, no, that makes sense. That like you'd want it in that style. I mean, they've had Pokemon games have been in that linear style, you know, typical eight gyms and stuff for so long, too, so, like, honestly, like, it, it, it makes sense for it to kind of have, like, that, <laughs> not to be, you know, Zelda again, but, like, um, to have that Breath of the Wild moment for Pokemon where it's, like, completely changing the game. Because, um, I mean, they already started to kind of do that from, uh, from what I heard with the wild areas in Gen 8, right? They were kind of, from what I heard, pretty open. Um, so, I mean, like, oh, rats! No, that's not good. I don't need a Metroid right now. We are not in Metroid Dread. Actually, 
That wouldn't really apply there. No, how did I still land the uh, the move on him with a Metroid on my head? That's bizarre. Ugh. Not looking too solid here. Okay. Did the Metroid go away? Now the Metroid's still there. If only Donkey Kong could freeze things, then I'd be good. Oh, that's going to be good, though. There we go. Boom. Give me the old uppercut. It doesn't stand a chance. There we go. Level 50 Mewtwo. All right, here we go. This is where all the money comes in. Nope. Oh, please miss that. Oh, yes, I missed it. Thank God. Ah, oh, but he, I was trying to get him on that uh, smash right there. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Oh, whoa. Okay. Coming in with the pro strats here. I am not good at this. Jared, when we play Smash tomorrow, I'm literally just going to swap myself out at some point for a ami level 50 amiibo. And you're not even going to realize it. Except for, you know, the big FP letters right there. Otherwise, you won't notice it. Oh, I need that. Come on. No, give me that. Give me that. I need it. You too. I need that to kill you. Stop it. I need that to murder you. Stop it. Give it to me. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, that's not good. Crap. For any time... He just knocked all of those pieces out of me. Oh, my goodness. Is that even KO me first? Oh, no, this is it. No, this is it. The Gus Bellows. Like, I always hated this item before I even knew what it really was. <laughs> You're being from, uh... From Skyward Sword. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. Now it's getting close. Okay, I need that last piece, though. And he's gonna get the final smash scene, too. I gotta watch out. Hey. Hey. Excuse you. Excuse you. Monkey Boy's gonna kick your ass over here. Crap. Do it again. Try it. Just try it. Just try it, buddy. Try your final smash against me. Okay. Yeah, you did. No, oh, that's not good. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. We're not done yet. Okay, good. Oh, he's tiny, Mewtwo. Now he's more like me right now. That's gonna be good for me. Oh, so close. Come on. Come on. Crap. I don't know. This might not end too well. I'm not... I'm not... A, oh! What? No, it's not it! It's not over! It's not over until I say it's over, Mewtwo. Come on, buddy. We're not done yet. Give him the old monkey slap. No! I do not trust myself in the air. Or, sorry, on a platform with Mewtwo below me. I, I do not try. Oh! That was it. That was it. Oh. Okay, you know what? I've got the time. So Mewtwo's level 50, but I gotta do one more match. I gotta do one more match as my, like, somewhat current main. I gotta do it. Where's the King of Fighters stage? Oh, man. Yeah, it's a good one. We'll do this remix. The, the Fatal Fury 2 remix. I don't know anything about Fatal Fury, but I love playing as Terry. Terry's like my favorite character to play as now. All right, that's it, Mewtwo. If I don't, okay, if I don't win, I'll, this, will, this will actually be the last match. If I don't win against Mewtwo, though, I'm going to be so sad. But I will understand. No, I want the green one. There we go. One day I'll try out Fatal Fury. It's kind of been a goal of mine to try out at least one game that every character in Smash is in. Uh, there are a few things that, there are still a few games I got to change with that. I mean, I just got, um... I just, I'm, I'm just, uh, I just bought Persona 5 Striker, so there we go, that's Joker. Um, I still need to try out Dragon Quest XI, that'll be, uh, for Hero. But then I gotta try out a Fatal Fury game, I guess, and then Fire Emblem. I still haven't tried Arms yet. Um, and Kingdom Hearts, eventually. I, I was looking into the, uh, the PC versions on an Epic Game Store for a bit. You know, to see maybe I could try them out there, but... Um, they're occasionally on sale, so I'll, I'll wait for a sale there. But that's pretty much the only way to be able to play them. But I'm I'm de I'm not gonna try them out on cloud version for Switch. I'm sorry, but like I'm not gonna do that. Oh you! Oh! God. Oh no! That was it right there. That was it. The Buster Wolf. There we go. Get out of here. You're done. I was like, okay, as long as I got I gotta get one Buster Wolf off on him. Oh, that's not good. The funny part is you can actually, on this stage, because the, right, the way it works has those invisible walls there. Um, if you... Oh, that's not good. Um, I was going to say, if you get, like, super close to one of the walls there, you can actually... Oh, you got me, yeah. You can actually 
KO your opponent if you're like super close to the wall and you hit them straight into it. It's really funny. This is honestly such a good stage. Like, re it really is. Oh, crap. That's not good. Hey, Mitsu, you know what? Let's not. Get over here. Come on, buddy. Okay. What? Oh, my God. How did he actually... No, how did he actually avoid me there? Oh, crap. There we go. Like that. He, was, he wasn't too high of a percentage right there. Whoa! <laughs> this is such a tough one. Crap, this is too close. I don't like this. I don't like this. Ooh. Not good. Crap. Oh, rats. I gotta grab more, don't I? No, Lin! Lin, I swear to Christ. Lin, please, no. No. I actually didn't mean to pause it there. You wouldn't bother with arm? Yeah, I mean, like, it's always, like... It looks interesting to me. I knew Lin was gonna kill me. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? At least I can accept that fate because Lin killed me and not you two. Like, if I had to die from somebody, Lin is a much better choice than Mewtwo, in my opinion. So... Oh, man. I knew as soon as Lin showed up. I'm like, Lin's gonna mutilate me. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Fine. You win this round. You win this round. But that's it. That is level 50 Mewtwo right there. So now I've only got two Amiibo right now that are level 50. I got the Samus one from last time. Like I said, I had them all... Uh, or not all of them, because I didn't have all the Amiibo I have now at the time. Um, but with Smash 4, I actually had uh, trained up a lot of them to level 50 with Smash 4. And then I pretty much... I thought I was going to sell Smash Wii U, which is why I wiped all the Amiibo data. But then I was like, you know what? I bought all this DLC for it. I might as well keep it. Um, and now I've uh, got a lot of... Now it gives me a good reason to stream Smash Brothers, right? To train up these Amiibo occasionally. Um, but okay, yeah. I am done with this, but I just got to scan it in. And there is our boy Mutu in there, level 50. You know, it's actually really fun. I did this with Smash 4 before where I had enough Amiibo to do it. Was essentially do like an Amiibo tournament bracket and have all the amiibo face off against each other that was really fun because they're all super super good and so you really get to see who wins in the end it's great um but then again like there definitely is a difference in the way you can like have these amiibo learn in terms of the uh the moves and stuff in this game they're actually there is depending on how you teach them i think it depends on like the stages you play on how you fight against them like what moves you use a lot like, I don't think you Mewtwo use many grabs against me, and that's because I kind of forget to use grabs a lot. So, like, it, it kind of learns from you as the player who are training them, which it's kind of cool how they do that. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's definitely more interesting than, like, computer players, just regular AI uh, players, for instance. But anyways, that is going to do it. Okay, so not not too, honestly, an hour 50. That's kind of, like, normal times. So it actually worked out pretty well. Um, definitely worked out better than... Uh, the last one. Last one was a little over two hours, so that was a little long, but this one actually worked out pretty well. I was worried, though, because, like, I started streaming a little bit late. I was like, oh, it's going to go on for a while, but no, we're looking good. It's just about 9 p.m. Eastern, my time, so that is going to do it for tonight's stream. Thank you all for tuning in. If you did, I saw a couple new faces. Thanks, Jared, for popping in. It's always fun talking to you on these streams. Um, thank you, Master Chief, for that subscribe earlier. I appreciate that, and King Cosmo was there for a bit. And anybody else not interacting with chat, or if you're watching the VOD after two, hello. It is me from the past. I hope the future's doing okay. Um, thank you. No matter how you watch these streams, I really, I genuinely do appreciate it a lot. Um, makes it worth doing, right? It makes it worth keep um, to have me keep going through and streaming these games to interact with some of you and also just have some of you watch it uh, separately later. It, just, it means a lot to me. It really does. Um, but anyway, so I will be streaming. For those of you who don't know, I'm currently streaming Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, the second DLC pack. I'm... A good chunk through it um there's still plenty to do i'm sure so i'm gonna be streaming that again this tuesday night this tuesday night is the 16th of november starting at 7 p.m eastern standard time um i'm gonna be streaming that tuesday and thursday i don't always stream on the weekends this was just kind of a one-off thing i've been meaning to do this amiibo training for a month uh like i mentioned before and um yeah it just it worked out that i was able to actually do it tonight um i'll, I'll do some more one-off streams like this in the future but usually just that two times a week but i'll be uh if you're interested i will see you 
for some Age of Calamity DLC on Tuesday night. And if not, enjoy the last few hours. Well, I guess it depends on what time zone you're in. But enjoy the, the, the very little remainders of your weekend. Especially if you're in my time zone. There's not much left. But enjoy, enjoy every moment. Embrace it. Never take the weekends for granted because they are really good. Um, but And enjoy the start to your week. Hope you all have a great week. And uh, I'll catch you in a couple days. Take care. Bye.